I started making this music like 20 years ago Was kinda timid and shifted the way I rock my clothes Was underrated and hated the way the game was invaded So now I spit like the greatest if y'all don't really know I started thinking my music would never take me places I knew the game it was changing but now I'm changing places I went from student to teacher and now I'm checking the preachers Who took advantage of people instead of spreading love I'm sick of waiting for people to wake and see the frauds I'm changing how I'm approaching the ones who show me love I operate like a surgeon for those who think that my words are simply chance for the birds like I be speaking tongues. It's time to build for the kids and put yourself aside. I threw my hat in the ring, so now it's time to ride. You in the way, better step aside. Cause I got the vibe of a killer monger, knowing I'm the king inside. Work hard cause I wanna get the bag. Get the bag. Time's up, I just show you who I am. Hold up, ain't no point in getting mad. Why you mad? It's time's up, I just show you who's the man. What's going on folks, it's your main man Mr. Council back with another one Saturday Motivation, you know how we do It's your Saturday, cause Saturday is the day that's uniquely in Rome Most people working 9 to 5, so by the time they get to Saturday They feel it's necessary to take their foot off the gas But most artists, creatives, and business minds Know the Saturday is the day to put your foot on the gas and handle your business What's going on people? Um, it's another Saturday, it's gloomy out here, it's raining um, I'm coming at you late today. I slept in today. Um, basketball season is over. Our season got cut short last week. Um, we ended up losing to a formidable opponent. So I want to say big shout out to them. And I want to get right into it. This is episode 96, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I need your help over the next five weeks. I want to try to generate at least um, 100 new subscribers. Um, before I hit episode 100 because I just want the, um, the channel to continue to grow and get this information out to the people. So if you hit that like button as you come in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Send these messages out to your friends, family members. Um, if you're feeling what I'm talking about. If not, then I get it. But let's get it in. Is money everything that you desire? Is money... Everything that you desire. I've been thinking about this all week. <clears throat> and money is a very difficult topic to cover because it's not about the money. It's about how it's used. Everything falls back to the individual. So I don't want to come on here and make it seem like um, money is the devil because it isn't. But what money does is it brings on temptation because it represents freedom um, it represents wealth it represents um, something that many of us are unfamiliar with and know nothing about but at the end of the day money cannot be all that you desire if you look at it most I don't want to say most but a lot of rich people are not happy people because all that money does is it brings out, it magnifies who you truly are. If you're a good person with money, you're going to do good things with money. If you're a bad person with money, you're going to do bad things with money. It's just that simple. And oftentimes, though, money will influence you to do things that you normally would not do. But it's still a part of who you are. So you can't take make an excuse like money is the problem. Inherently, it's you. But the reason why I want to talk about this is because I always speak about a message of purpose. Now, what people have to understand is if money is the um, the forethought or the, the in the front of your mind when you're thinking about your purpose and who you want to be in life, then you're already starting on the wrong foot. You're already starting on the wrong foot. And I learned that myself when I was younger going to college because when I started going to college, I was going to college to be a lawyer. And when I was studying law, I was coming at it from more of a theatrical perspective. Watching Perry Mason, watching uh, Matlock, and different shows like that, Law and & Order. And what it did to me was it gave me a more dramatic, unrealistic idea of what being a lawyer actually is. And once I began to take the classes at university... And then I discovered that that was nothing that I wanted to be involved in. 
And so I sat and I tried to figure out what did I want to do. But the reason why I had thoughts of wanting to be a lawyer and also be a doctor early in life is because I knew those professions made a lot of money. That's why I wanted to become a doctor at first. It wasn't because I wanted to really help sick people. I didn't even think about that. That was a selfish thought. I just thought doctor, lawyer, they make a lot of money. Let's go for that. Now, I, w I used to be a very argumentative person, and sometimes I am at this point, but I've matured past that. And so that was a lot of the reason why I wanted to be a lawyer, and that's not even all that it's cracked up to be. So whenever you think like that, it's just a foolish and ignorant thought. And so I sat down and I was like, what do I love to do more than anything? And what could I see myself doing for the next 20, 30, or possibly 40 years? And I thought about children. And ever since I was a kid, I've been like a magnet for kids. Like kids, have, I've always been a big person. So for whatever reason, kids would just come run up and grab my leg or pull on my arm. I mean, kids that I didn't even know would just want to play with me, talk to me. And so I knew I had a natural knack for working with children. And so I said, I want to be a teacher. And my mother was a teacher. Um, my aunt was a teacher. Great aunts. I mean, my grandmother. It's just something that's in my family. And so I finally got connected to who I truly am as a person. And that's a teacher, regardless of what I am. Singer, you know, songwriter, you know, wannabe model. You know what I mean? All of that. I'm a teacher inherently, and it's a part of who I am. It's in my bloodline. It's like every time I learn something, I want to share that information with somebody else. And that's really what teaching is all about, wanting to share information. And so when I finally discovered my purpose, or one of my purposes, I wasn't even thinking about money when I did it. And it made me happier than I could ever realize because the last 20 years of my life, I've been teaching kids in the classroom setting. And... It's been one of the most rewarding experiences that I've ever had in my entire life. I mean, I have lifelong relationships with some of my students. My students come back to me to be coached. They come back to me to be mentor. Um, they text me or call me or ask me for advice. Um, I've learned so much from them about myself, about the world. It's truly changed my life. So if you truly want to be connected to your purpose, the first thing that you have to do is take money out of the equation. And I'm not saying that money's not important because I'd be a fool to say something like that. Because at the end of the day, you could hate or demonize money all you want. It's necessary. It's necessary for progress in this country. It's necessary for survival in this country. So I don't want to be on the type of person to come on here and demonize money. Because one day I plan to have a lot of it. But that's not what I'm working for. I'm working for my purpose. And when I work through my purpose, then God will provide for me everything that I need. And that's what we lose sight of. Because we're so focused on the amount of money that we want to make, we forget totally about what we're supposed to be doing with our lives. And if you give total concentration and effort and discipline to your purpose, God will provide you with everything you need. And I said everything you need because you're not going to get everything that you want. Because what you want may not serve you. You having money may destroy your life. If you have a drug habit, if you have a, um, an, a, a horrible eating habit, if you can't control yourself, if you have no discipline, you're the last person that needs money. Because money will allow you to magnify all of your faults. And could turn you into a horrible person. It could actually destroy your life. When it should build your life and the lives of others. Because see, people always think about themselves. 
when they think about having a lot of money. The first thing, if you ask somebody if they want a lot of money, you ask them what they'll do with it. The first thing that comes out of their mouth is usually something for themselves. Most times, we've become so selfish in our thinking that we've corrupted everything that's going on around us. So it's not about not wanting to have some sort of money. But if you're not living through your purpose, that money is not going to make you happy. There are plenty of rich people that have discovered how to get money, how to continue to get money, but they can't get their lives together. Nothing is going right in their personal life. They're mismanaging the money that's coming in, even though it's coming in rapidly. They're using that money to um, not for good. But to do things that don't serve themselves and don't serve the people around them. And that's what you have to understand. We are here for service, duty, and responsibility to each other. We're not here to just get a whole bunch of money and leave it to a bunch of descendants that don't even know us. That's important to do. But think about the families that do that. Think about the descendants. Think about the children and the, the people that come after them. Most times they don't become good people because they're so entitled because they come out the womb with a silver spoon. See, I don't think I would become the man I am if I didn't grow up in the circumstances that I did. So I appreciate everything that God has put me through because I recognize his greatness in everything. And so what you have to understand is you have to reach for your purpose first and everything financial will just come because you're so focused on what you do every day. You become the best at it. And when I say the best, I mean the best version of you. So no one can do what you do like you do it. So it might be somebody else that does something similar to what you do or the same thing, but they don't do it the way you do it. And they're not meant to serve the people that you are meant to serve. See, it's enough of all of us to go around. But we're so selfish in our thinking that we think that we can be the only one. We have to be the chosen one. I ain't nobody's chosen one. But I do recognize my gifts. I am doing everything to live through my purpose. And I'm trying to encourage other people to do the same thing. I know I'm getting long-winded here, but I'm on one right now. So understand that money does not necessarily equal long-term happiness. Will it make you happy in the moment? Yes. Will it buy you some of the things that you desire? Of course. But just like when a kid, and I compare us to children because we are children of God, just like a kid gets a, a toy, the toy that they wanted for Christmas. They've been begging mom and dad for three, four, five, six months because I got to have this toy. And seen the commercial for it. It does this. It does that. I got to have it. And then your parents, they scrape together the money to get it and they get it for you. And you get it and you're so happy. And you're so excited. You got the gift. And you're playing with it for like an hour. And then all of a sudden the gift is in the corner someplace. And nobody's touched it in weeks. Because it wasn't something that you needed. It was something that you desired that was frivolous. It was something that wasn't going to make you a better person. It's something that wasn't going to serve you or the people around you. So that something is pointless. You don't get it though. Because every day we fight this rat race because we're thinking about lying on the beach someplace, winning the lottery and just getting all kinds of money without having to do anything for it. See, most of us want a handout. Most people don't really want to work for the things that they get. 
And that's why many people don't appreciate it. But that's a conversation for another day. But if I can motivate you today, please understand. Money isn't everything. It is valuable. If you plan to use it for good. But please understand. Please understand. If you choose money over purpose, you'll never be the person that you desire to be. You'll never find that satisfaction with your life and with your days that you walk on this earth. And you don't even know how many you have left. So if you reach for your purpose, it will quench the thirst of your satisfaction. And then God will take care of all your financial needs. He might not necessarily take care of your financial wants. Because he and he alone understands what you can and cannot handle. Oftentimes we don't understand what we can and cannot handle until we're faced with that issue. So please live through your purpose. If you don't know what that is, spend your days discovering it because we are all waiting on you to be great because there is no us without you. We are nothing without each other. I don't care what you make it seem. So live for your purpose. Don't live for money and God will provide you with everything that you need. That's my time, y'all. Peace to all my people in the struggle. The sun came up, I'm waking up, freshen up for my day. Felt like something might be nothing, touched my soul this day. Took off riding, felt like vibing to some Marvin Gaye. Somehow excited, can't describe it, how I felt that day. Now that nothing became something cause she walked my way My eyes got bigger cause her figure let me know no games The way her motion got me open man I can't explain Am I supposed to go to approach you or just play it safe? She drives me crazy, oh that lady she's got what I want My said baby, boy you crazy if you don't want